Greetings, everyone. My name is Ava, and we are here today because uh, the Pleiadians have actually requested their presence here on YouTube. And so uh, you will hear more about my personal story. One thing I will say is that I have not wanted to do this. I have had a lot of resistance to starting this channel, and they have been so patient and so loving with me. And I have sat with this for a while, and I just have really become clear that it is really important for me to just get out of the way so that their message can come through during these really important times. So we'll share more about my personal story and how we got to this moment. But for now, we are on the 7-7 is the date that they have requested. So I'm curious as to why. I'm sure we'll hear about that. Um, so we're just going to let let her come through. Her name is Diana, and she I'm sure she will introduce herself and tell you all about herself. Her name is Diana. And so we'll just let her come through and just get started. Here we go. <clears throat> Greetings! Ah, my name is Diana, and I am a I am re representing the the Pleiadian the Pleiadian family. You see, it's a family. We heard the words. We are the Galactic Federation. We are the Pleiadian Collective. All of these kinds of words. It is really a family. It is a family. And many of you, especially those of you who are listening here, are part of this family. You are part of the family. So we are here to welcome you and say welcome to remembering your family, your true family. Because a lot of you that mm, are here on the earth right now have come from places where mm, maybe it does not feel so ho like home here on the earth. It feels a little bit like, mm, do I really fit in? And is this really where I belong? I do not, I do not have, I have not found my, 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 my soul family, my friends. Some people do not quite understand me. You see, things like this as you are grow growing up in the body. You see, and so we are here to, to tell you that if you are feeling like this, you are not alone. Many people, many people listening to things like this also feel the same way. Like they are really like wanting to know where is their family. And we are here to remind you that we are here. We are here with you. And so we are the Pleiadian Collective, the Pleiadian family, <clears throat> and we come bringing love. We come bringing love. You see, we are we are here on, on the 7-7. Seven, seven. This is the date today, the 7-7. Seven, seven. Why do we come on this date, you see? So there is a very important reason why. Because there is an activation and a, <clears throat> we like to call it like a little, almost like a little wormhole or a portal uh, that is available right now that stretches out the time. 7-7, seven, seven. think about the 7. It is a frequency of creation. There is a completion energy in the essence of creation. And so we are able to kind of play and move in the time and stretch the time so that we are really able to, to activate the love in the humans in a way that really allows for greater awareness for all, you see. So we are here, the Pleiadians are here with a very specific purpose. And a lot of you have been in the Pleiades frequencies before and you are coming to earth to help in this mission. So if you're feeling that way, you may, you may, you may recognize this. You may recognize this, is that we're here to really help to, to give the humans the, the best option available in the timelines, you see. Because we cannot sit here and play like, like the weatherman and predict what is going to happen in the future, you, like, you see, like this. Because it is up to you. It is up to you. Isn't that beautiful? And so what we are here to do is really help the humans remember the essence of love. Because when we really remember the essence of love within our own heart, and we can see that in the other hearts of all the other humans, and we can experience the circuitry of the heart together, what happens? What happens? Then we all elevate together. We rise together in the love. You see, so we are here to help that process of remembering how to be in the love, not in the division, in the separation, which a lot of you like to play in. You see, not maybe the ones listening here, but many of the ones you know around you, you see, like to be in the separation and it, it, it feeds something in them and they have forgot a little bit about the love. They forgot about the love. They forgot about the peace that is the same in you and the same in me, you see. 
So we are here to help bring, bridge that gap of um, separation so that we can begin to, to feel the oneness again, you see. And so there are so many layers to this and so many ways that we do this through the activation of all of the um, your DNA, you see. From all, you see, you think you have seven, some people say seven, some people say 12, some people say 13. There are many, 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 you see. And it is, it is about the, the activation of the particular strands, but then you, you have many, you are multi, infinite multi-dimensionalities, you see. It does not stop at five. We talk about the 3D to the 5D. You hear about this before, the 3D to the 5D. What are we really talking about, you see? It is, it is really simply like turning on a light switch. It is very simple. It is like turning on your own internal light switch so you can see what was once in the dark now you, now you see very much in the bright nice in the in the bright light you see and you are simply doing that it's like an elevator going up and up and up into the more subtle layers of your being it is not as if these these pieces of your being have never been there you are complete you are complete you are whole so it is really you actually being aware of this of all the subtleties in this. So it is you are being aware of level one, of zero, zero, dimension zero, dimension one, dimension two, dimension three, the fourth dimension, the fifth dimension, the eleventh, the thirteenth, the thirty-third, the forty-fourth, and so on, you see. So there are levels of dimensionality that are in the more subtle layers that are not in the physical. That are very much, you can say, mm, if you had, if you had the, the, per, the, the ability to perceive in there, then you could maybe see. But it is really to, mm, what you are contained in with the body, in the physical form, it has subtler and subtler layers of, of, of existence, you see. And so what you're doing is simply fine-tuning your awareness so that you can become more aware of these more subtle dimensions that are part of you. They are a part of you. They are not different from. And it is not like you are just jumping from one to another and forgetting about the other ones. You are integrating. You are integrating your wholeness. So you are integrating the third dimension with the fourth dimension, with the fifth dimension. These are your layers and aspects of being. And they are all important. They are all important for you. It is part of you. It is part of consciousness. And it is part of the expression, <clears throat> the play of consciousness, you see. So this is really the way, you see. We are really, really activating and waking up in all these different layers. So we are using this portal of the 7-7 seven, seven today to really to really play in this world of activation so that as, as you are watching and listening, you can feel, oh, this is resonating in my heart and I feel it, I feel it expanding. I feel it expanding in my body, you see. So you're really able to really listen and play and let yourself just really begin to get really good at listening. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a form of listening. This is really what the, the subtleties are. It's a layers and layers of listening. Layers of awareness, which is simply listening, getting good at listening. So some of you are very, very good at the listening already. And so you hear, you, you hear or you see or you feel. You are very much aware. You have the empathy for others or you, you can see other beings that are not necessarily on your third dimensional reality, you see. And so you have these layers of, of, of awakening happening already. And so the more you begin to, to simply allow this to unfold in your consciousness through all the different ways, and it is happening with or without much efforting, you see. This is, that is the specialty of right now. In this time period see before you had to have a really good focus you see and really the a good intention of of really specializing in in the the awakening process you see and really getting good at it you see you had to really put a lot of effort in and do all the all the oming and all the meditating and all the all the praying and all the all the eating the right ways and all of the you see all of these things you see and everybody has their opinions on which way is the best way when it comes to things like this when it comes to what do you do in the third dimension to get good at knowing the other dimensions, you see. It is quite humorous. It is quite humorous. But this is really what is happening. So we, we play. We play with it. So really, as you are going up, up, up the levels, you're getting better at listening. And it is happening naturally. 
You know why? Because we are in the transition, the upgrade of consciousness on the entire planet Earth right now. And Earth is an, it, the, the because Earth is in this, it is actually affecting all of the cosmos in all of the universes and dimensionalities. Isn't that fascinating? You see, so it is a ripple out effect that is affecting so many other galaxies that you have a lot of beings right now that are tuning into Earth going, what are those humans going to do? What choices are they going to make? Because it is going to affect so much, you see. This is why we have so many here right now playing the game on both sides of the fence, you see, on both sides of the play. So there's a lot of energy, a lot of options, and really a lot of movement. It's just like a tennis match that is going so fast that you can't even see the ball, you see. So it is really about, can you just be in the presence of your own heart, in the love, in your own heart, your own love? And can you feel that in another? You see. So it is about it being in the expansion energy and getting good at the listening. So the listening, as I was saying, is, is, is happening regardless of how good you are at the meditating or how, how bendy you are in the yoga forms, you see. That is very good for some of you, that you do not have to be mm, very good in being, uh, being bendy, you see, to, 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 to help in the process of the elevation of the consciousness, you see. See, we like to, to be a little bit humorous because it is, it is also in the joy and in the love, which is through the joy and through the play that all, everything happens. Everything we are talking about, the elevation of consciousness is not so serious. It is not so serious. So we, we really like to use the children as the example, you see. The children that are coming into this world, the, the light beings or the indigo children that, you, that you've, you've seen before. And see how they play. See how they move through the world. You see, observe them. Observe their hearts. Observe, how, observe where they talk from. Do they talk from their head when they talk to you? Notice, where is their energy? when they're communicating with you. Just tune in, that is your homework. You could see a little bit of homework for those of you that can be around a child who is maybe, mm, you can go see, you will, you will know when you find one, even just walking down the road, you will see, oh, that child has such light, has such love. And wow, look at where they are communicating from. That is a, that is a hint, that is a hint for humanity. That is a hint. So get the good at the listening. That is a really, a really important piece here. We are, we are going to be here now. We, we, go, we got Ava over the hump of, of coming on the YouTube and going the live. The, the, the YouTube would not let her go live today. So we go live other days and, and she got over the hump. So we are now going to be, be giving you all of this, this helpful information. So, so you can come and you can ask your questions. And we are here to really support you in this process of the transition, you see, because we're all in a big transition. And how do we move? How do we move from love? How do we be in the remembrance of love, in the activation of it, as we act elevate consciousness, you see? And how do we really do it in a way that is, is honoring all of life, all of creation? So these are the questions, you see, to really be pondering, is how do we do this together? We are not separate from, we are together with, you see. So how do we remember that piece? So this feels like a good little, a good little nugget to 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 think about. Mm, well, I did not know that there were so many dimensions. I thought that we had just stopped at the fifth, or we stopped at the ninth, or we stopped at the thirteenth, or some of you think in, maybe even in the thirties. But to go into the forties and even beyond that into the more subtle, wow, that is a mind blow. You see, so even just a little bit of pieces here, you see, can be something to ponder for a while, and see in the pondering what happens then is your consciousness is expanding simply by your entertaining the idea of it. Because now you are aware. You are simply tuning into the awareness of the subtleties and frequencies simply by giving it a little bit of attention. The ability and the, 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 the spaciousness to exist because it is always has existed, you see. So this is good, this is a good start. So we come, we go, we, we bring the love. This is the most important thing to know. That if the Pleiadians are here bringing all the love and the light and, and we really are here with the love. So whatever you have to question, we want to remind you how to really come and move from love. 
so that you can really remember how did we, how do we really be a good human on this planet right now and help and do it the ways that we came to help with, you see. Some of you are really curious about that right now. How do I really do what I'm here for, you see. And so we start with the love. We start with the heartbeat. And we get soft and quiet. We get in the quiet. And we get good at the listening. So get, 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 get good at the listening and we will begin. And you can always go to the website, you see. You can look at it and see and put in your questions there. You see, we, are, we would like to, to communicate with you more. And we are here. And we have told Ava, we're just going to be, be helpful, 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 you see. So ask the questions, you see, the, the ones that can be really, really good, you see. And then we just, we help as many people as we can possibly help right now because the world needs it, you see, because the world needs it. It is very simple. It's very simple. The reasons are not so complicated, just like what, the, what we are here for isn't so complicated. So we just get back to the simplicity of love. So we love you all very much. You're doing such good work. You are doing such good work. And so do not get discouraged. Do not get discouraged by what you are seeing and hearing that may feel negative, you see. Because you are only seeing a tiny little bit of the picture. You see, it's like, it's like, it's like opening up to the middle of the book and you, you see, you, you read that, oh my goodness, the, the, the dragon's head is getting chopped off. Why is the dragon's head getting chopped off? You have no idea what is happening in this story, but there is a dragon and this head is off. What happened? But you have not actually read the whole story and you do not see about the prince saving the princess and you do not have the whole concept of the entirety of the storyline. So just know and trust that there is a bigger picture unfolding here and that love always wins. Love always wins. Even when it appears that love is not winning, you see, it is only because you are only seeing a tiny little piece of the storyline. And you just have to trust to see to that is to, to know that there is more that you are not seeing. And this is very real because you are only experiencing a certain level of dimensionality. So of course you are only seeing a small perspective of the story, you see. So as you get better at the listening, you become more aware of the bigger picture, the bigger picture and the bigger storyline. You see, and you see more and more the love and more and more the consciousness of, of the unfolding of the play, you see. So it is good, step by step, little by little. We love you all so much. The Pleiadian family sends all the love. We are here for you and we are, we are holding you all so very close and we are, we are only a, a, a thought away. So in your moments when you are feeling feeling alone or you're feeling in your darkest moment, you'd simply call on us. You could even call my name, Daina, you see. I am available in that way. I can come and sometimes I like to do this with Ava. I will I will say, if you ever need my help, you just pray, you just ask me to 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 lay on you, to, to lay put your head on my lap. You see, and so she pretends that 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 my head that her head is right right on, on my lap, you see. Like a mother, you see, holding like a mother. So we can do that for you, you see, and you will feel the energy and you will feel the love, you see. It is nothing to be afraid of because we are simply here to bring the love. We love you also very much. We 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 hope that you will share this with others too, because it is such an important time. It is such an important time for everyone to be remembering the love, you see. We love you all very much. Blessings, blessings, blessings to you all. We go now with peace and love and, and joy and happiness. And, and we will see you very, very soon. <clears throat> all right. So I'm trusting the, the messages were exactly what you needed to hear. It is a blessing and an honor to, to be with you here today. And just know that we're going to be doing this more. If you liked this, please subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you're aware when we're going live next and when that new video is posted. And we look forward to, to being with you just more often and um, helping in any way we can. Blessings.